Well, I think the difference, uh, strictly speaking, is that we've graduated medical school and have a degree in uh, as a medical doctor or an oste osteopath. Um, so that's the, the main difference. So in, in that sense, we take on more responsibility in that we can sign charts, um, be accountable legally for the decisions that we make. You know, whereas a medical student is there most of the part of shadowing and, and writing orders um, just for practice, essentially. We've actually gone through, passed all of our board exams um, to qualify for licensure as a MD or a DO uh, medical physician. Um, and then we are strictly doing residency training under um, one of the attendings. But we still have licensure to, to practice medicine. And even after the first year, you really don't have to continue on your residency training. After that, you can apply for a boardship, but most people do do residency programs to finish out their training. It's comforting, actually. It's, it's kind of a, a wild idea to think that you're going to be out there on practicing your own medicine, which has some benefits in the sense that you can uh, individualize it to your scope of practice, what you like to do. but. But it's very comforting having somebody like Dr. Cox or Dr. Deacons that has been there, done that, um, and can guide you through the process. Um, so, yeah, I would definitely recommend residency training, and that's why most people do it, is that there's a major advantage to completing it. I think there's several advantages to the residency program as a whole coming into a community like this. It really does make people accountable for the latest data on what is standard of care and the kind of cutting edge practices, which overall do you know, increase patient care. Um, so I think that's the first thing that, that residency programs as a whole bring to it. Um, as far as residents seeing patients, I mean, I think any doctor can tell you that they're working to the bone right now and stretch thin. So when you add three or four, five, 15, you know, X number of residents that can spend that much more time with you and have an attending come behind them, add anything extra, uh, I think is beneficial to everybody. The attendings are constantly updating their medical knowledge to make sure that they are, you know, um, on the cutting edge and the most recent data to explain or, or go through cases with the residents or students. And it makes us uh, accountable as well to attendings and also to teach students. So you kind of get the whole realm of things. And not to mention we go through cases every day and learning objectives and, and uh, kind of the academic side of things. So I'm from an area like Morganton where there's kind of a bigger city down the road you have to travel to, but it's, it's rural, kind of county-based practice here. Um, and uh, that's kind of the medicine that I enjoy. I think you get to see more, you get to do more, you're required or responsible for treating a greater number of uh, diseases and patient types. Um, and I think Morganton offers a good variety. There's a little, you know, there's several specialists that can help you out if you need it, um, but I think you're accountable to a wide variety of disease states. Um, plus, you know, Dr. Cox makes it pretty easy to come here. I think he's still hungry for medicine and, and well up to date and uh, very well respected in the community by his colleagues and by the patients. So that was kind of an easy choice. Yeah, I guess my father-in-law is a doctor of osteopathy, and so that's where I kind of got my first introduction. I wasn't very familiar with it before that as well. Um, but I'm extremely glad that I chose that route, and, and it suits me well. Um, I think medicine as a whole is really starting, even through research, is starting to appreciate the fact that there are other things going on other than pharmaceutical um, um, changes within the body. Uh, and everything really is connected as to how a person feels, their faith, um, you know, mind-body structure, kind of all is, is codependent on each other. And I think all of medicine is kind of working that way, and um, osteopathy is just one facet um, that we kind of bring to the table when we talk about general or the standard of medicine. And it's nice to kind of have that, that edge, and that it's more of a uh, a way of practice or a thought that you bring to the table when you treat patients. Yeah, I think it's a special privilege. I think not only do we get to, uh, you know, walk with patients throughout their life in family medicine, um, 
but we also get to, you know, encourage, educate people first and foremost to to make themselves improve, not only in their health but mind, body, and spirit. Um, so you kind of get the the whole encompassing practice of what it means to be human, uh, and so that's that's something that very few professions actually get to delve into. I mean, people kind of reach down and tell you things that they normally don't tell people. So, um, you know, the trust and the confidentiality is, is a privilege.